Previously, we added this main chart here coming from Nivo, and this library helps us to display very beautiful charts. Okay, so here it's a bit empty on my dashboard. I would like to fulfill this white space that we got here. And what I would like to do is to create some kind of bento. Bento are piece of UI that are disposable like this. So you got some grids and you got elements that are stuck in top of each other and if you look closely sometimes it's really a regular if we look here at the versal blog we can see that we got a block here a block here a block here a block here and we can see that the gap are not exactly the same this is really nice so basically what i would like to do here is to put two different cards here and to add some more cards on the bottom so i'm going to get back here on my uh, chatien ui dashboard and I already got a one grid here. So let's say that I'm going to have a new grid here. And I would like to basically uh, just add here a new grid with a grid calls to uh, again. So what I can do here is to call a card from Chatien and add another card. And if I look to it, I will have two elements like this. I will have to work on the gap here. So if I work on the gap, I can have those two cards next to each other like this. But this is not necessarily something that I would like to do. I would like that, I, that both of them would be on top of each other. So if I come back, I got those two cards in here. I will see what I'm going to put into it again. Okay, so just after this grid, I want to create a new grid. And for this new grid, it's going to be different. I want it to be actually on class grid here. I'm going to add the cards again. I would like to have three different cards and I don't want them to stack. Okay, I wish they could actually um, be next to each other. So I'm going to add a grid called free and I'm going to add a gap of 32 pixels again. So once I got this, I want to also put the grid on top of all my elements. So here it's going to be exactly the same and I'm going to add grid gap 32 pixels. Okay, so when I come back, I got my elements that are here and they don't, they, there is nothing actually inside of these cards. So what I can do is here to, for now, for this example, just to put a hello world inside those cards. And when I come back, we can see that I need to fulfill the space for them. If I would like them to have some kind of eight, I can already come here, put a class and put a minimum eight here, for instance, of 300 pixels. And when I come back, I got my beautiful grid. And this beautiful grid here is displaying different elements that now I need to fulfill with will components. So here we can see that we've got these cards and we're gonna look at the responsive later because when we're gonna move here, the, the actual um, UI will need to arrange, okay? So cards will come on top of each other. There will be some kind of responsive behavior that we are waiting for. Okay, so now I wanna fulfill these two cards up here. And if I go back to Nivo, I got this time range, which is really nice. So what I need to do here is just to uh, install Nivo calendar and to create a component with that. So I'm going to come back, I'm going to open my terminal, I'm going to stop, and I'm going to type yarn add Nivo core, and I'm going to add Nivo calendar, okay? So once it's installed, I'm supposed to have the component, so I'm going to install it now. So I'm going to install this Nivo calendar and I'm going to create a component. My calendar, I just copy paste the code coming from the chart itself. And then I'm also copy pasting the data. Or if I want, I can write a function exactly like I asked ChatGPT to do to generate for me a data array. And after that, I'm assigning the data here to an array. Then what I need to do is to import the card and have the card content. I'm putting an eight to it, so we will see what's the response. And what I need to do here, instead of calling my card, I'm going to call my calendar directly. So inside my calendar, I already got the card. So we'll have the layout of the card. This is the result we got for now. It's really easy. You just have to go on Nivo and copy paste here 
this element that we got here on the code side. It's really uh, easy to do. So we end up with this GitHub calendar that we got here that we like a lot. We missed this part, okay? So I'm going to come back to general. And on general, remember, we've got the card header and the card description. So I'm going to come back here. And if we take a look quickly at the component, it's really simple. We've got here the card with the card content, the card header, and we are going just to copy paste everything that comes from chat CNUI. And we've got a brand nice result. So I'm going to uh, save this calendar. Let's say I'm going to, uh, these are the numbers of this year. Let's save that. And when I come back, look at this, we've got these two beautiful cards. So there's a problem on the eight. What we need to work on, it's the eight. And there we go. So we got those two calendars where we got a lot of elements here and we got the days that are displayed in here. So those two calendars are really nice to use really fast, as you see. And I propose you to look at the code together because it's easy to show, but I want to give you some details. Okay, so we created a calendar.tsx component that we imported here directly inside our app. And we use the responsive time range from Nivo. And I made actually a custom component here on top of my main function, which is the calendar, where I'm calling the calendar here. Then what I do is actually to grab the data. So basically the model, it's value and day. And then we can push here the value and days. And depending on the color, it's going to display a different color. Okay. So here we've got this generate data for year 2023. We want to generate some data and return it. So for every day, we want to generate actually data between um, the values between zero and 300 and then the formatted date. And at the end, we return the data. So basically here, just for the example, I created this function that helped me to do what? To actually push into my component, my responsive time range, the data. So you probably later in your database, you will have a model that looks exactly like this. You want to grab the value and the day and you can push it directly to the component. So here we created a calendar that we use directly inside our bento, inside our grid that we inject in here. And now we've been working on the GitHub calendar. Here we can see that we've got the classic chart, the chart with lines that we got here. So basically what I would like to do is to inject this chart in here. This is the latest uh, chart that I'm going to use with lines from Nivo. So I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to create a component uh, that will be called uh, actually uh, lines and I'm going to inject this component to get the lines. But before I would like to customize this chart. So if I take a look here with the generator, I'm able to here customize here. I can see that I can change the behavior of every line. Okay. Let's say that it's over. We are going to create this component right now. So I'm going to come back to the project. I'm going to go to components and I'm going to stick to the architecture. I'm going to stick to cards. So here I'm going to put a new file and it's going to be called lines.tsx. I'm going to create the component immediately in here and I'm going to come back. Here I got the code. What I'm gonna do is exactly the same as before. I'm going to grab the code and I'm going to go here on the top and I'm going to turn actually this um, uh, element coming directly from Nivo into a GSX component that is going to return, it's going to return exactly the component itself. Okay, so data here, it will come from any, and we've got here the Nivo line that we need to install. So again, what I'm going to do is to come here and to type npm install Nivo line. I'm going to copy paste the data, and now I need to wrap my element inside the card from ChatCN. So I'm going to just import the card from ChatCN. I'm going to come back to the bottom. And here instead, I'm going to change these lines. These are numbers of the year. These are the stats of the year. 
And exactly here, I'm going to push the data and my responsive line. Back to page, I'm going to remove this and I'm going to call my components lines, which will be the first component in here. I'm going to rerun again my application. And there we go. We got something that doesn't look really nice. We need to customize actually uh, everything that we have in here. So if I come back to my responsive line, probably on this one, I don't want to have the legends. So I can probably remove the legends and I can load again. If I want, I can remove also the margin. I can remove also the legends. And if I come back here, I'm going to remove a little bit because it's, it was a bit higher, probably 264 pixels would be good. And when I come back, look at this. We've got our lines that are displayed down there. Okay, so now we've got our very nice bento with cards. Now here, what I want to put is tables. And we're going to see that Chatsian is really good with tables. 